Hi, Matsurific. I have one question to ask for to ask you. Hey. Do you think Marinette Dupin Chen is problematic? Yes. Yes, I do think that she is problematic, especially in the fact that the show doesn't really acknowledge the fact that she's problematic. So kids don't see that she's problematic. Hi. Hello, Jay. Hi. I have <laughs> one question for you and I want you to answer me it English in the most okay. honest way possible like your first thoughts that's what I want to hear. Okay. Like word association. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So, so just like any answer or like like the first answer that comes to mind. Okay. Okay. Hit it. So, <laughs> Jay, do you think that Marina Dupin Chang is a problematic character? I do. <laughs> no hesitation. I do. And <laughs> but like yeah, I think that um Marinette has some problematic tendencies that need to be addressed. Um especially by the creators. And if not, um her behavior might have some consequences within the show. I really like to see that because um her behavior is not normal and it's Problematic, like you said. And that's my opinion. <laughs> Hi, Aiden. I just wanted to ask you one question and get your honest response. Okay. Um, Aiden, do you think that Marinette Dupeng Cheng is a problematic character? Do I think Marinette Dupeng Cheng is a problematic character? Yes. Uh, as far as, like, what context? Just your first thoughts when you hear that question, honest from the guts, do you think she's a problematic character? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I know how to answer that, because, uh... <laughs> I think... She has some problems, and I think I think it's more of the way that Miraculous is formed as a show as a whole, not necessarily Marinette as herself. I mean, obviously, giving her the weight of the the Guardian is definitely probably not the best thing that could have done. So that could lead to some problems with the finale and stuff like that. Um, I I think if I knew more specifically what the context was, like, like, is she a problematic, creepy character? Then I mean, I would say yes. Yeah, she's she's pretty creepy with what she does with Adrian and whatnot, right? But <laughs> but um, I think you know, it's just her being a teenager. That'd be my first uh, initial thought. Well, anything that as yes. far as like you know her faults and stuff like that, as far as letting her emotions take over and whatnot. I'm, I'm just happy. I just got what I wanted. So far, we're three for three. Everybody I've asked are saying, yes, she's problematic. We're just talking as a whole when you just look at the show and her tendencies and what she portrays to young girls. Is Marinette Dupin Cheng problematic? I want you to listen to that question and then type down in the comment section below what's your first thought it like the first thing that popped into your head you heard it here from all the other creators what they think about that question and i find it so interesting when when you hear that you just go yes and then you go huh that's a problem Hey yo guys, ladies, lads, non-binary chads it's your homegirl tbc coming at you again with another mental brain fart i was just minding my own business on the internet that's a lie i was probably doing something really shady but i was just existing on the internet as i do and i just had a thought <laughs> because i would go through um 
the videos of my my past few videos and you know i've been focusing on adrian a lot because he is my son and he is precious and important to me and i just realized i said huh marinette because a lot of marinette stands have been coming after me like god have mercy marinette stands are a whole other can of worm at least chloe stands know their fave is problematic but the marinette stands are just delusional at this point so then i just so uh, my friend matsuri Ma matsurific <laughs> i hope i said that right hi masiri well, how do you say your name Mats Ma Ma Matsu matsurific um came to me in the twitter dms and we were just talking and she told me how there was this girl that got inspired by marinette's antics and she went and did what marinette did to her own crush yeah i'm gonna leave a link i'll put it up on screen to the video so you can go and watch it give my girl some love and attention because she deserves it so you can see how that played out so obviously we have to address the fact that we have this main character of a show who has tendencies that are not addressed by the show critically and is influencing this new generation of kids that are watching because let's be honest with ourselves what marinette does is a problem but the show doesn't treat it as a problem and a lot of people like to point out that fact but when they do thomas blocks them so that's lovely but then why is it such an issue to point out marinette's problematic tendencies and then her fans would say well it's this it's that it's that it's that you just hate marinette what about chloe what about lila what about bleh? what about bleh? and it's like why is it illegal to call out these girls faults it's it's mind numbing at this point so i will want i want to sit down here and just address this fact i had a lot of things i want to talk about but as usual i do not script my videos so i probably forgot 75 percent of what i wanted to say but let's try and say what i do remember so first of all before we begin i am not gonna pretend like adrian is a saint or anything i would want to list out adrian's own faults because he has them so people don't think i'm biased or anything this video is focused on marinette so of course i'll point out marinette's faults but i'm gonna put adrian's own at the start here so people are aware of that so at least the marinette stands don't come from my blood as much so adrian is adrian toxic kinda yeah but we'll put a pin in that or maybe that's a video for another day but adrian's tendencies are kind of addressed in the show adrian or should we even say cat noir because that's when the boy even shows any inch of a personality cat noir is jealous he's brash he's <sighs> what's the word i'm looking for he doesn't think as much when he's cat noir you can say that's the fault of the show or you can say, oh, that's a legitimate character quirk that he has. He likes to jump into things head first. And Ladybug is the one that likes to use the brain cells in the equation, in the relationship. He has a tendency to not take no for an answer. And he has some selfish tendencies. In the episode Copycat, we see him get jealous and actually cause an Akuma attack because he let his jealousy get the better of him. But in that case it's just him talking to somebody else not like projecting that onto ladybug but again that's territorial and that can be toxic because you're not dating this girl so why are you going around acting like you are in the episode bubbler he put his birthday party ahead of the safety of his friends which is very much selfish but then again in both episodes marinette also has tendencies i think she stole adrian's phone in copycat and she she also turned a blind eye when people's safeties were in jeopardy in Bubbler because this show just has to amplify everything of Marinette. So even when Adrian is doing something wrong, we just gotta focus on Marinette. But so Adrian does have his own problematic and toxic tendencies. But whereas we don't focus that much on Adrian is because the show has a way of addressing it. The thing is, when a main character does something problematic, it is the show's responsibility to show the audience that this is not good and kind of punish them in a way for doing that so with adrian in copycat his own punishment came in the form of oh 
this person impersonated him and the whole of Paris now thinks he's a thief and he has to go out of his way to clear his name and that even brings up his brashness where he doesn't even want to get Ladybug involved and he wants to do everything on his own and in the episode Bubbler he realized that his party was hurting his friends and in turn he didn't like that and he kind of well he didn't really get punished in the episode but having other people be sad and realizing that as somebody who does who, somebody who isn't social having a social situation and having a social situation turn sour is kind of psychologically fucked up so that can be a punishment in and of itself and him having to go back to his normal but he realized his faults and quickly tried to fix that but with marinette the show basically goes out of its way to try and say no 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 nothing's wrong it's fine she's still the main character and that's not how you punish a main character because if you don't do that little girls are gonna see this person that's basically stalking her crush and have the world not say that's a bad thing and think oh yeah that's normal and you cannot then as a show creator say well everybody knows it's wrong we don't have to say it's wrong that's not how the child mind of a child works coming from somebody who nearly burnt down her dad's second house like what two three times Common sense isn't really that common. Take it from me. So, if I w I'd like to give a proper example of um, the main character of the show getting punished repeatedly, and that's a childhood favorite of mine, Johnny Bravo, and that would re that's gonna really age me up to so many people. I know there's a bunch of people watching this. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So, Johnny Bravo is a show about a uh, tall, blonde-haired. Adrian, buff dude who likes wearing black. Adrian, who doesn't take no from women when he forcefully shows his attraction to them. Adrian, cat noir, hello. <laughs> but jokes aside, Johnny Bravo goes around toasting women, just hitting on women. He loves women, but his approach is wrong. He sexualizes them, he objectifies them, he borderline harasses them. But and then I'm sure to those of you who've never seen the show before, you're like, how is this a show and how is he the main character? The beauty of it is every episode we see Johnny get pulverized into the dirt by all the women he sex objectifies, all the women he harasses, all the women he follows. And the show repeatedly shows us that, yeah, doing this is wrong. It's not it, sis. He is in the wrong, what he's doing is wrong, and you almost take pleasure in seeing Johnny just get beat time and time again. And at one point, you're just here like, when will this man learn? Now, imagine if the creators of Miraculous were the ones in charge of the show, Johnny Bravo. I would promise you that they'd make you be like, oh no, it's not Johnny's fault, it's just the women. They don't understand his charm or his unique way of thinking. He'll get a woman someday if he keeps acting like a jerk. And that would raise a generation of boys that I will be terrified by. Hell, the, the generation of boys that were raised after seeing a man get beat by every woman he's harassed is still terrifying. So imagine the opposite. So with Marinette having these stalkerish tendencies, just imagine the generation of girls they're raising. And those girls are not even told what they're doing is wrong. Because the episode... What am I thinking of? The one where Kagami get her... Miraculous Ryoku? Ryo uh, no, the episode is what was her mom? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up on screen. So she in that episode, Marinette goes out of her way to sabotage Kagami's chances of hanging out with Adrian, which is even less than Marinette's chances of hanging out with Adrian. And she badmouths her to her friends on her phone. And what does the show do? to punish Marinette or show Marinette that what she did was wrong? Nothing. The show ends with Marinette being the one going out of her way to befriend Kagami to show, oh, she's the good person. Befriending the girl that you badmouthed and ruined her chances of hanging out with somebody she liked. But no, Marinette was good. She smiled with her at the end and ate ice cream. Nothing happened to Marinette. Hell, it was even Kagami that had to apologize to Marinette because she fucked up on the mission. So Kagami is the one in the wrong for what she did. But yeah, you can say, oh, Ladybug is different from Marinette and all that stuff. But the show is, we know Marinette is 
Ladybug. And Kagami was put in a position to apologize to the person that had been antagonizing her and demeaning her and basically looking down at her the entire episode. Marinette breaks into Adrian's room with her Ladybug privileges and sniffs his stuff and all that stuff and we're supposed to think that's cute because oh my gosh she loves him so much and even when she's ladybug she can't focus because this boy hello but and now in season four the show is trying to do this thing where oh marinette is sad oh marinette is this because they've realized oh we haven't punished Ugh, i'm using punish really we haven't what's the word i'm looking for not come up and s reprimanded this girl's behavior so now they're doing it but it's in a way where she she's now the guardian she has bigger problems than what she's been doing in the past those things have not been addressed and they cannot be addressed now so now when they show merit being sad and depressed it feels out of nowhere because okay when she was supposed to be reprimanded for her bad behavior she wasn't and now that she's not doing anything on that level it kind of doesn't even seem earned because, okay, why are you sad? The show tries to present it as she's sad that she broke up with Luca, but it's like, oh no, I can't date Luca because I'm the guardian. If I can't date Luca, that means I cannot date Adrian. She's still focused on the guy. Not even It's not even her breakup that's bothering her that much. Her breakup and the potential guy she wants to date. They just had to add that in there. And it just asinine to me how okay this person does things that are problematic this person marinette is a problematic character she does problematic things but now we've reached a point in the show where we can't even address those problematic things because she has bigger fish to fry she has this overwhelming responsibility on her head which quite frankly she did not even earn and we are having to suppress the fact that oh this person who has done all that fucked up shit now has even more power to do more fucked up shit and we're supposed to feel sad for her because she is sad and that moment of sadness is her it's, it's kind of like her redemption for all the bad stuff she's done you <laughs> i should not have to explain the fact that you liking a boy to the degree that Marinette does is problematic. Having his pictures up on your wall, following him, stalking him, knowing his schedule, isolating him from other people that like him. That's what she did with the Kagami in the beginning. She hated Kagami and hated Adrian hanging out with Kagami. And Marinette's friends are also problematic, but that's a discussion for another day. Sniffing his things, being so possessive of him is not okay. And now in season 4 where all that has just been swept to the side because oh no now she's the guardian doesn't make sense to me because we're just supposed to be <laughs> because I, I feel frustrated because me now saying she's problematic we all agree she is but at the same time it's like we're not allowed to say she is because she's the main character because she's the one at the forefront because she's ladybug she saves the day she does so much good. But that doesn't change the fact that she has a problematic tendencies. She does things that are not okay for little girls to look up to. Yes, little girls should save the day. Yes, little girls should do what is right. But no, little girls should not stalk their crush. No, little girls should not steal other people's phones to erase messages that you sent because you were too shy to send them. No, little girls should not be bitchy to other girls because they like your crush. I feel like the best example to give for people to understand this is imagine you. You, the average doe, doe, Joe, Joe and doe watching this video. You're just minding your business, having fun, and then somewhere outside your peripheral, there's somebody doing to you what Marinette does to Adrian. And no, the person doing to you what Marinette does to Adrian, the, the Marinette that's following you, is not your crush is not somebody you like it's probably the weirdo in class who you just are nice to or you're not even nice to or just somebody you have no interest in doing to you what marinette does because yes it would be nice if your crush liked you the way marinette does 
But let's be honest, you're not that lucky. You're not like me who rolled a nat 20 in life and, it, and has both brains and beauty. You might get stuck with somebody you do not like marinating you. And I have to ask you, would you want something like that? Would you look at what Marinette does when she's obsessed with Adrian and put that to a random person you do not like? Would you want that person doing that to you? And if you say, oh no, I just want somebody to be obsessed with me, I don't mind. You are lying to yourself because humans hate attention from the people they do not like. That is just a fact. You might be obsessed, you want to be the center of attention, but you want to be the center of attention for people you actually give a shit about. I'm just saying, that's just me. I am, I'm probably projecting, who knows? But I just felt like I had to talk about this. I had to address this even though I have, it, 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 it's just a cartoon. I am aware that it's just a cartoon. It's not that deep. But this cartoon is having some terrifying re real life repercussions that we need to address at some point or another. And if the show won't do it, then I guess it's my duty to have to do it even though I don't want to. Who's giving me responsibilities? Blech. I did not sign up for this as an adult. Why didn't anybody tell me that when I grew up I'd have responsibilities? I just wanted to be able to vote and drive a car. I didn't sign up for any of this bullshit. I still haven't even voted. Not once in my damn life. And I'm in my mid-twenties. But I guess that's what happens when you live in a corrupt country. But yeah, I'm not gonna go into that. Another example of a show that kind of punishes their protagonist, I don't know where I'm going to stick this in, but I'm just going to jam it in there, is American Dragon, which kind of has the same kind of vibe with Miraculous Ladybug about this kid, half American, half Asian, with responsibilities to this realm of magic, but the normies can't see it, or they could, could they? I can't remember. It's been so long. I am old. And whenever Jake, that's the main character, does something wrong or uses his powers out of line, this show takes immense pleasure in beating this boy back down to earth and showing us the audience that, hey, just because you have responsibilities, just because you can turn into a dragon, doesn't mean you got the right to do shit or do whatever you want. You have a responsibility and you have to think of the greater good. And yes, I love the ending of the show. It's, oh, give me chills. Um, huh. What's... I I keep getting the, this thought of a show, Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior, Dragon... Where... What show has a dragon? Am I thinking of Dragon Boosters? No. Dragon Boosters doesn't have a Dragon Warrior. Also a show that has a main character with responsibilities and if they use their power outside of what they're supposed to do, get beaten back into submission. That's the thing with shows. If the main character steps out of line, it's the show's responsibility to us. Hey! Just because you can do cool shit doesn't mean you are allowed to do it. But with Marinette, it's like, oh no, she has responsibilities. And even if she does something wrong, she knows deep down it's wrong. So we don't have to do anything or Tiki will tell her it's wrong. And that's just it. She doesn't get any sort of punishment. This girl feels so entitled. It's asinine. She feels like she sneaks onto private property. She snuck into the aggressed household twice that I can remember while recording this. Once where she stacked up the trash cans and felt like she could sneak into the house just because she saw Lila in there, which yes, that's wrong, but Lila was invited. You were not. And in Party Crasher where she felt the right to be there even though she didn't have the right to be there and she was like, no, I have to get in there. The show doesn't do anything to say, hey, how about you not? But at the end, they don't show her sweeping, which is like, oh, that's as much as we're gonna do, which is the least you could do to clean your friend's house. It's not a punishment. You could say she got captured by Party Crasher, but again, not a punishment. Marinette doesn't learn that what she did is wrong. She only knows what she did is wrong when other people tell her what she has done is wrong. Oh my God, what show is this Dragon Warrior thing from? Do I look it up? No, no, I have to look it up. Okay. Of course, as soon as I pick up the phone. Oh, no, it's from what? What pad? Oh, someone left a comment. Okay, focus. Dragon War Warrior. Why am I thinking of Wendy Wu, Homecoming Queen? Dragon Quest? No. No. Why am I getting Dragon Quest? What the fuck is Dragon Quest? 
Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. You are the Dragon Warrior. Oh, is, or is it from Dragon Booster? Guys, I am losing my mind right now. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda! Fuck! Thank you. <laughs> I was about to have a heart attack. Oh no, I could, I could just hear it dragon warrior ow my hand hurts dragon warrior dragon warrior but i could not for the life of me remember where it's from and even in kung fu panda i think like the show or whatever if poe steps out of line karma smacks him back in the face but i'm gonna go back to whatever it was i was saying this sent this segment is way too fucking long oh my god i'm sorry back back, back to the main show i I'm gonna end the video here. I don't want to have a 20 minute video, but that, that that's life for you. I talk too much. I hope you understood what I'm trying to say. I look forward to hearing your responses in the comment section down below. You guys are much more smart and insightful than me. So let the actual intellects talk in the comments. I look, let's all just go down there and just fight. Oh my god, the marinette stands are gonna be down there too oh no you might not see them now but give it give it a few days five days a week come back you'll see them they're like cockroaches they infest wherever they go ah pray for me but yeah thanks for so much for clicking to watch i love you i love your faces thank you for being here um <laughs> why do you guys watch me why <laughs> oh god but yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe do all the things and or but with that being said this is tvc Mwah. signing out <laughs>